Uh, well, Jamie Cox, thank you very much indeed for, for joining us this morning. I guess the, the first question has got to be, how are you settling in? Uh, morning, Spencer. Uh, yes, settling in well. It's, um, I think I've been here six weeks now. It does feel like six months, but in a nice way, I must say. It's, uh, uh, it's a decision I thought about long and hard. Um, you know, to, to actually leave the role I formerly enjoyed was, was, was difficult, but, but the lure back was, um, was strong, and, and I'm really pleased that, um, that I've made the leap. It's, I think it's a club with great aspiration. It's a region with great opportunity. You know, we've got um, a fantastic facility, a competitive team, great membership. We represent, you know, a very strong part, a very strong cricketing part of the nation. And, you know, I think our opportunities for growth, particularly now with, with, with Tier 1 women um, coming to join our club, I think the future looks bright. So for, for, to, to, to join at this time in the club's history, uh, I'm really excited about what we can achieve. Does it feel a little bit like coming home? Look, it does a little bit. I, I tried to downplay that a bit. I mean, I, I had a natural lure back because I, I love the place. I love the people. I, I love everything about cricket in this region. But I also joined knowing this is not a romantic role, you know, like the business of county cricket is, is tough. Um, we, we've got to make some hard decisions to ensure that our future looks bright. And there was, I, I guess it does mean a bit more, though, when, 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 it, when this club and... Um, and this region does mean so much to me. It's always felt like coming home, uh, driving down the M5. So no doubt when life gets a bit tougher and you've got to really dig in, that stuff helps. When, uh, when this is not just a job, it's actually a purpose for me. So um, no, I'm really excited. You, you touched on it there. It's a huge opportunity, isn't it? Because it is a unique club. It covers the whole of the southwest region. You know, whilst we, we don't have potentially the clout of the test match venues, we are a unique setting, aren't we? Because we've got such a huge catchment area and, and cricket means so much to the people of the region. Yeah, I don't think Somerset instinctively is seen by many as being a big county. But, but, but you know, we, we, we are. We represent you know, a large chunk, um, a large part of the population from, from Somerset further southwest. You know, I've, I've been regularly told over almost five million people live in this part of the country. And it's a very cricket region. You know, it's, it's, it, cricket is really important to the people of Taunton and to the people of Somerset and to this whole region. So there's a great responsibility for us, I think, to present a great service and, and for us to make our ground and our club uh, a real lure to the people, not only you know, locally, but for, for that whole part of the country because we do represent uh, a heck of a lot of people uh, and connect with them, you know, I think increasingly more and, and do so very proudly. So it's, it's a big responsibility that we hold. But um, I've been really proud of what I've seen so far of how the club does value that and does really try and connect with its whole region and not just with its locality. So um, I think it's, it adds to the opportunity I think the club has. You touched on the ground there. The Cooper Associates County Ground isn't the biggest ground on the circuit, is it? But look, just looking out the windows, it is the most stunning, isn't it? Uh, it's in the grand final. You know, I was lucky enough, I say, to, uh, to spend two and a half years looking down the pitch at Lords. Um, that's pretty special, but it is an amazing place. There, there's a magic in the air here, and I, and I say that as someone who proudly played here for a long period of time, but, but also to come back, it, it's still a fantastic cricket environment. People here love their cricket, and they're very invested in their cricket. I think we, we need to respect that and try and make that experience as good as possible for our cricket loving people uh, and our players. I mean, our players are very loyal to this part of the world and they love playing for the club. And we've got a very, very competitive team right now that we need to support and help win as well. So, you know, it's, it's a nice mix of circumstances I think we find ourselves in right now. Are you coming into the role with the club in a good place? I believe so. I'm very fortunate to have um, accepted the business of cricket, if you like, um, from Gordon in, in very good shape. You know, we're proudly profitable. Uh, not, it doesn't come easily. You know, we, we have to sacrifice to get there and make some hard decisions. But you know, the business is in good shape and uh, our cricket's in good shape. You know, as I said, we've got a good squad of really talented and experienced players that have experienced success and now expect success. You know, I was um, pleased to read on, the, on, on researching for the role that we've played more Division I cricket than any other county, which is you know, quite testament to, to our cricket program and, and everything that we've done. There's been a lot of talk about Tier 1 status. Somerset put in a bid and have achieved that. What, for maybe for those who don't know, what exactly does that mean, Tier 1 status? Well, can I say it sort of all evolved as I was um, 
uh, before I'd taken on the role. And I sat on the outside of it, really proud of the work that went into it. It was, it was an impressive pitch. It was a very authentic pitch. And it proved to me that our club and our region really gets women's cricket and women's sport. And we're actually trying to, to win the pitch for very genuine reasons. To actually have it now, I think, is incredibly exciting and important for our club moving forward. You know, we, uh, we want to be at the top table for cricket. To actually have a senior men's and women's team uh, in elite competitions is really important for that and for our club moving into the future. So short term, you know, we, we want to try and embrace our women's team. We want to make sure this is their home. I know they're very keen to have a home. They've been quite nomadic uh, across, their, across their existence to date. So to help them feel and see and appreciate everything I guess our men have had for so many years uh, is an immediate goal. But I do see this being just a wonderful sporting hub for both men and women and for the next, you know, let's say three to ten years uh, for this to evolve into a place where not only young men can aspire to, to, to replicate the deeds of their heroes, but young women, young girls can now grow up and, and they can be what they can see. You know, they can they can see these um, young women forging their own careers and aspire to be great at a sport that might have been out of reach not so long ago. It's not just important for the women's game because the women's game is evolving massively, isn't it? It is important for the game as a whole, isn't it? Why, why is it so important for Somerset County Cricket Club to be here you know, at the top table of both men and women's cricket right at the very inception of this process? Well, I think it's, it's critical for the game to be a game for all. You know, women have always loved the game of cricket and have always played the game of cricket. But other than sort of uh, little patches, it, it's sort of been out of touch and out of reach to play it at an elite level and to, and to have it as a career, a professional sporting career. If you want to talk of the game in terms of growth, which is really important for our game, to understand that we, we need more people loving and following the game of cricket. We can't afford to ignore 50% of the population and to actually continually chip away at this being an equitable professional career for young women as well as young men I think is incredibly important to not only our club, our region, our game, um, we'll all benefit once we really embed the women into our culture here at Somerset. You've touched on the, what the goals are short term and long term, what are, the, what are the next steps going to be on this process? Well, critically, you know, to, to actually welcome the women into our environment is, is, is a challenge, uh, a challenge we'll accept uh, happily. Um, We've been a proud men's cricket club for almost 150 years next year. So we can't just say it's going to happen easily or without some sort of compromise or some sort of little bumps in the road along the way. Um, what we have to do is be agile and understand that w I in this search for parity, there is going to be some need for, for people to sort of jump out of their comfort zone and, and to welcome um, each other to the environment. So um, I think that's going to be a... Uh, it's going to be a well-considered exercise. It won't be straightforward, but I think it'll be successful because I know that the people around the pitch and the club is is authentically looking to welcome in um, the current Western Storm group uh, into Somerset. So the next, you know, the next few months we'll have. We've got to go through this you know, the part legal, part um, part human process to actually bring a lot of people on board into our club, which. Um, which has its challenges, but we're looking forward to getting to the starting line in good shape. It's a time for change, but it's an exciting time, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, no, the game's in good health. You know, the game, it's moving all the time. You know, there's a lot of talk about the challenge to, you know, the summer and uh, the hundred and, and everything else. But, but basically, the game is in good shape. There are a lot more opportunities than certainly you know, my playing era um, enjoyed. Uh, in some ways, I think it was a simple time uh, going back 20 years where you had a very simple goal to try and play for your country. And if you weren't good enough, then you just tried to play as well as you could at the level below. But players these days have choice. You know, they're, they're, It's an exciting world for a player, but it's also a complex world um, for players these days to try and keep all elements of their game in good order. It's, it's very tough because there's great rewards um, for, for, for players these days. But there seems to be also some pitfalls that um, that if they don't manage them well. So, look, I, I think the game is in this interesting evolution where it's um, it's still probably a little bit unsettled, but I sort of firmly believe that the game has this wonderful 
this wonderful habit of enduring. You know, it has this great, great um, presence to actually just see throughout any of this change and still deliver what it can deliver um, for all the fans because there aren't many forms of sport that can accommodate three very viable uh, different formats that can attract you know, different crowds. Um, you know, and we've got to treat that as an asset and not see it as the enemy. The Somerset members and, and supporters are pretty much the best in the business and they're such an integral part of the club. How can they support us on this journey? Well, I think just purely through understanding. I mean, I, I you know, again, I'll reinforce part of the reason I come back is I've just had such a, a great existence with the people of this part of the world. That, you know, I've, I've pretty openly said we won't agree on everything. That's OK. Um, but I know the passion in cricket here. And I think if, if our people keep bringing that passion, keep bringing that support but also keeping an open mind that there are these various formats of the game that, that are bringing in new people who ordinarily might not come to cricket, then I think if we get that in balance, um, that is how our, our club and how our game will thrive, is, is that everybody has this understanding that all these various formats um, come together to make this the great game that we enjoy.